hi guys um i <laughs> i really don't know how to start off this video um when i was driving to work this morning i was kind of thinking of, about this topic and like talking about it publicly publicly <laughs> and just i think about the topic a lot i just meant I thought about like actually filming a video regarding it. So hi if you're new to my channel, my name is Linnea. I'm 21 years old and I've been doing YouTube for almost four years. <laughs> That's crazy to think about. Yeah, as you can probably tell from the title, this video is gonna be about self-confidence, kind of what I've struggled with for quite a long time and how social media affects it. And like, I feel like this topic is such a sensitive topic, especially nowadays. Like, I don't, I don't even know where to like begin with it, I guess. I'm pretty comfortable talking to a camera because I've been doing it for so long. But for some reason, even this subject, just like, there's something about it. And it's probably gonna be a very long video, but I hope that if anybody else has struggled with it or needed to hear something, that even if it helps one person or one person take something from this video, then that's great. So basically I'm just going to start off with a couple years ago. Um, I was posting a lot of my life on social media. Um, I've actually deleted a lot of my life from back then from off Instagram and from YouTube. I deleted quite a bit. I was vlogging almost every single day. And this has to do with my appearance. I was not happy with how I looked. I had gained about almost 30 pounds from what I was weighing and it was just a lot. It was a lot for me to handle putting that online just because I knew people had noticed that I had gained weight, say from like high school or just from knowing me before. I put on a lot of weight within a short amount of time and with social media these days, we all know that that just like doesn't fly because with social media these days, it's hard. We'll just put it that way. Anyways, so I had lost a bunch of weight and I was pretty confident with where I was. I wasn't even finished, but I was great. And that was at the beginning of this year, I'd say in about January. And then I, I started getting, I'd say more into social media. I was getting more interested in it. I was watching new people and I got into, I think the most toxic thoughts, thoughts, thought, whatever you want to call it about how I needed to look because of social media and I feel like almost anybody can agree with this that what you see on social media nowadays is just not real um you can find people who are real I'm not saying that obviously every single person out there isn't but a lot of what you see is edited is just completely different so when someone's life looks absolutely perfect just know that it probably is not and it's a highlight reel. It truly is. That is 110%. Oops. It's 110% people showing the good stuff and not the bad. And so, I don't know, you kind of take, we take what we take from seeing social media stuff. Anyways, I was in the thought I had thoughts in my mind that I, I wasn't the right weight, I was overweight, I was too heavy, um, and I just did not look like the girls on Instagram. I was not a fitness model, I wasn't, you know, 100 pounds, and, you know, I don't look facetuned, and I hated that. I, I started to pick apart and compare myself to every single person, and no matter what anyone could tell me, like, I wouldn't have believed anybody like I didn't care about anyone else's opinion necessarily it was all in like my own head because of what I saw online like scrolling through the phone can be so toxic and like it's just I don't know how to explain it because social media can be such an amazing thing 
but it can be such a bad thing and I don't think it's addressed enough like people all everybody knows that social media can be bad and everybody knows that half of it is fake but nobody wants to like stop being fake <laughs> even I put um like Lightroom filters or sorry presets on my photos I mean my photos aren't anything crazy I feel like I try to keep them somewhat real but I do put like a preset on them whereas before we used to put like some random little filter on it and like post whatever kind of photos we used to post food on Instagram and like you know Instagram like seven years ago however many years ago when it first became we all posted whatever the heck we wanted and now it's become it's a like a business and it's a competitive thing and nobody's real I feel like like you just it's crazy like you see all these people and I'm not saying that everybody is fake because Obviously, no, this doesn't apply to everybody, but it's such a a different like world, like it's completely different. And I think it can be a totally fine thing, but in my own head, it was like, you don't look like these people, so it's wrong, it's not right. And, you know, I was so insecure about my body. It was mostly my body, like, like my arms my legs my stomach my stomach was like the biggest thing ever and especially it's summertime and you see all these people posting these photos and their like body image and stuff like that and when you don't look like those people it makes you feel like it's wrong when in reality we all look different and most of those photos people don't look like in person and the worst thing is to compare yourself to anybody else because no two people are the same at all and that's where it comes in to be such a toxic toxic mindset like it you can't put yourself in those shoes and let yourself feed off of that because you're gonna get nowhere and it's just it it's terrible and I know that and it's just, until you realize it, I don't think you can get yourself out of it. And it's, it's like, I, it started to get to the point where I wanted to just like count my food and like be like so strict on it and never treat myself and like, it, it was bad. I don't want to live my life like that considering just because I'm not looking like somebody else doesn't mean like I can't look the way I look if that makes sense and with social media nowadays like people make a living off of it right and then I was being so hard on myself because I've done YouTube for four years and I'm not making a living I'm not anywhere close to that and I don't want to quit because of that like I love love making videos like I have such a passion for making videos whether it gets 50 views or 500 views or whatever it, it is like I can watch back all my videos like vlogs are my favorite because I can look back and watch any of my memories and I think that's awesome but then I go to watch other people and as soon as the views come I swear people change not everybody definitely not everybody I definitely know some very humble people but it's just like it's not good like I don't know how to describe it but it also comes down to yourself like you cannot compare yourself to that person's Instagram page that person's YouTube that whatever it is your life is so different that if you're comparing yourself to somebody else it's not even a fair comparison at all and <laughs> basically what I'm just trying to say is this is what I've been doing and what I've struggled with and I'm like done struggling with that because I can't live a happy life like that like I compare literally everything like I'm like why is my face shape look like that and not like that why am I taller than this girl and shorter than this one or why do I why does my stomach look like I'm six months pregnant and this person always looks like you know not it is 
it's toxic and I feel like if you're gonna be on social media and I'm gonna be doing what I'm passionate about I need to have the right mindset and I've been working on it and even just the past week two weeks I feel so much better I feel more confident I feel happier because I stopped comparing myself to others you know you log online and you see this person with cutest clothes awesome makeup you know eyelash extensions their nails done so be it why don't like I have that well that's not the right way to look at that like you cannot that's me being wrong that's not somebody posting a photo and they shouldn't be able to post they should be able to post whatever they want but I should know in my own head to look at it and be like wow like that person sweet they probably worked really hard for what they have and so on you know what I mean and I, I hope I'm explaining things right because it's just it's really hard to explain what my thought process is and how my self-confidence has like got to me like and how much it's affected me like I wanted to go to the gym to look a certain way what kind of motivation really is that I should want to go to the gym to be healthier to feel healthier and once I'm in that mindset be like okay now I can set my goals for this or for this whatever but not to go to the gym to be like oh I just want to I just want to look a certain way I'm just gonna like eat protein all day long go to the gym and look a certain way and not be happy like I want to enjoy what I'm eating I want to enjoy a workout I want to be happy with my life and not compare it to somebody else's and I feel like that is such a hard step to get to and as much as I've gotten better at it I still have literally so far to go I literally was going crazy in my own head like comparing and comparing and comparing myself and I mean I've got the best friends the best boyfriend the best family who constantly gives you the like love and support and compliments and whatever it is but in your head unless you don't see it all that stuff on the outside isn't gonna matter and coming to like conclusion with that takes a lot and I just think that if anybody is struggling with it just like sit down and have like a thought process with yourself and know you don't need to compare yourself to anybody you are perfect seriously the way you are no matter what if you are healthy and you are happy you have everything there is not much more than being happy and healthy like those are the two biggest achievements money and items and the way you look your makeup your clothes none of that brings true happiness and true contentment trust me I love love you know having the cute clothes and the nails done and you know perfect look who wouldn't but that does not bring true happiness at all stressing about the way you look comparing yourself to others none of it does but being happy and being healthy and having all these people in my life who love and support me trying to focus my mindset on that over comparing myself I swear has gotten me a million miles further than I was and I still have so far to go but now that my mindset knows it's I'm more in the right direction you know and I saw something on Instagram this morning I'll actually share it with you guys my friend Melissa Lucy on YouTube I'll actually link her channel down below because she has amazing vlogs I love her she's positive she's a girl boss she just like kicks butt she she's just super real and just check her channel out and give her lots of support because she works really hard and she's also a blogger just go check out her stuff and you'll kind of you know go to her Instagram and blog and stuff like that she's great here so she posted this morning saying mindset is everything and I think that's kind of what like spar probably sparked my thought process this morning to work because it's so true if your mindset is on something else how do you change that you have to change your mindset and then go to the next step and I wish I would have listened <laughs> way earlier when people told me not to compare myself to others because at one point in my life I wasn't and I was confident and then 
I don't know what happened, but I got dragged down that deep dark hole that I think a lot of people get dragged down. I know that there are so many other people out there that struggle with probably the same thing and you're just not alone and just like pick yourself up, like have enough love for yourself and self-respect to just be better for you. You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> Self-love, learning to love yourself is a crazy, crazy journey, but it is the best journey, I think. And I'm proud that I've come further and I'm gonna get even further. And it takes time and I have terrible days where I compare myself still, but being in such a better mindset now, I, I swear I'm living a happier and healthier life and that is all I could ask for. That's really all. I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> I hope this made sense and I probably left out a million thoughts because I know when I'm like driving in the car to work, I like, I can think about it all and I have no distractions, but here I'm filming and it's like thinking a lot about things. But even right now I didn't set up any lights. I just like sat down on my floor and was like, I, I want to film a video and I want to talk and I want to be real and I want to be somebody that people can watch this video and think like there's more genuine people out there and people struggle with the same things and like not everything is fake and highlight reels they're just highlight reels they're not real they're fake basically and i mean not that it's a bad thing i don't want it to be, me to be like hating on instagram and like social media but like i am kind of i you i hope you get what i mean if you don't i'm sorry not that sorry because like i shouldn't apologize you know <laughs> don't really know how to end the video. I feel very awkward. <laughs> so I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.